Hey guys, it's Taya. Today I'm bringing you a no makeup makeup look that you can do right before your Zoom class or if you just want to feel glowy, fresh, and cute naturally. I did only use drugstore products so it's very affordable and yeah let's get straight into the video but before we do if you guys love videos like this definitely subscribe to my channel and give this video a like so I can keep coming with content for you guys. I would love to have you on this journey with me so the more the merrier but without further ado let's get straight into this video. I'm starting off with my elf hydrating face primer and my elf luminous putty primer so I'm going to take a little bit and I want this look to be glowy because supple skin is what looks the healthiest. So I'm going to be focusing on making my skin really dewy, fresh, awake. All you're going for, not tired, and you're healthy. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I'm putting this on the high points of my face because it's going to bring out my features, my cheekbones. Since this is a no makeup makeup look, I'm going to be using a little tiny bit of concealer, just a little, just to correct anything. And it, obviously the more you need to correct, the more concealer you can use. But for me, I am just going to try to keep it very minimal. So I'm going to go in with the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealers. I'm going to be mixing these colors because one of these is too orange for me. So I'm using the color Golden and Toffee, which is one and three. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I do have darkness right here. So I'm going to cover that up. I had a breakout that I messed with, so I have like a little scar right there. I'm going to take Golden first and kind of just the smallest little amounts wherever I feel like I need it. And guys, this is no makeup makeup, so you don't have to go full coverage. Like I said, cater this however you want. So if you want to put on more, go right ahead. I'm not going to mess with my forehead because I just feel like I don't need it there. So I'm going to be using my fingers. Now that I have a little more even skin and base, I'm going to go in and conceal under my eyes. For this, I'm going to be using the shade Toffee in the Neutrogena Cream Concealer. So I'm going to focus it on the inner part of my eyes, right underneath, like right here. And then I'm going to also lift, so I'm going to put it right here. And you can take a little more and kind of drag it down the side of your nose. I know a lot of people get red around here, so you can take a little dot and just kind of place it there. And that's all we're doing. Is it just me or do I look cuter with like not blended out concealer? <laughs> you can kind of even bring the concealer here, the beginning of your eyelid. I also just want to take a second for everyone who watches my channel and just say, Thank you. Makes me so happy. And if you want to just take a beauty blender, this is the regular beauty blender. You can kind of go in and just make sure everything on the edges is blended out. You don't have to go in there because you don't want to lose any coverage. So now I'm going to reverse contour so we can create a shadow underneath our jawbone, jawline. I don't know. I don't need to be saying stuff right. So I'm going with toffee again and I'm just going underneath my jawline, I guess, jawbone. I'm going to go a little higher even because I just want to create like a snatched face. So I'm going to go there and kind of bring it in. Okay, and now I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend it out. I don't care about coverage right here because I don't need it. But if you need it, you can go ahead and use your fingers. Now I'm going to take my CoverGirl Clean Professional Setting Powder and set my eyes ever so slightly you guys just kind of like bounce it right under my eyes and i'm kind of gonna bounce it until it goes away i'm just gonna keep patting down until it goes away same and then bring it back here kind of like i'm putting on concealer focus it on the area that you put the concealer because if you put it on your cheeks then your cream blush is not gonna look as good and i'm gonna set around my mouth as well and i really really recommend this setting powder i've been using it forever it doesn't give me problems i really really like it and it's cheap too. Now I'm gonna go with blush and I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi Stick. I got two colors because I didn't know which one I wanted to use. Um, so I'm gonna swatch them for y'all and then y'all can kind of see what they look like. This one is Luminous Berry and this one is Sparkling Rose. I like Luminous Berry better. I didn't know these had sparkles in them, so I'm not a fan of like sparkly makeup. It's okay. It's fine. I know we're doing no makeup makeup, but this will work. If you do have something that doesn't have sparkles though, that would be good. 
too. I'm just taking my beauty blender and kind of like bouncing it on the product. And then I'm gonna bounce it on my hand. I'm gonna do more of like here, back. I'm gonna put some lip balm because I bought this lip balm um, by e.l.f. from Target and it's looking cute. It's looking real cute. So I'm gonna try it. So this is the Ride or Die Lip Balm and Tough Cookie. And I also have the color Boss Berry. So you could really mix these two. But this one smells so good. This is all over the place. I do my makeup in a really like all over the place type of way. But I'm gonna set my eyes a tiny bit because I have kind of oily, so. I am also gonna put a little bit of the multi-stick on my eyes, so just with my fingers, kind of go in and, oh, I don't like that, nope, nope. Now I'm gonna go in and do my brows. I'm gonna be using the NYX micro brow pencil i'm using the color espresso it was the color right before black so i hope it works a couple people have asked for like an in-depth brow tutorial I'm, i can still make one i just don't do much so what i'm gonna do today is actually put a little bit of setting powder on my brows because they are a little greasy because i'm filming this in the middle of the day after that y'all i don't do much to my brows i literally just brush them down make a line on the top And then I brush up, I do a line at the bottom too. But I don't do just like a straight dragging line, I do strokes. So only thing I do make sure I do all the time is go like this, put a little mark. So like wherever the side of my nose is, I put a mark like that. And then I just make little hairs to look like my brows are fuller in the front. Yeah, um, y'all, I think I bought the wrong color, so I'm gonna cheat just a little and use my Anastasia um, Brow Wiz just to make the color darker because this is not, it just looks weird to me. So now I'm gonna go with my NYX Bear With Me Brow Setter. This is a clear brow gel and I'm gonna really work it up. For me, I like to set my face, do highlighter, mascara, and then set it one more time. And the setting spray I'm using is the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist Long Lasting. And I've never tried this product, so I want to see how it works. I'm supposed to shake it. It says use with the putty primer, which I did in some places on my face. Okay, for highlighter, I'm taking it back to the basics and I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I know this was popular literally in 2016. I was literally using this all the time, every day. It was my favorite highlighter, so I'm gonna just go back to it because it's very affordable and an actually overall really good product. The way I apply highlighter has changed for the better, so I thought I would give it a try with you know my updated makeup skills so i'm taking this fan brush and i'm gonna smile i'm gonna do a little soft smile and wherever the light hits my cheeks i'm actually gonna put it there and so when you smile you can have a little now i'm gonna take this tiny little brush it's actually a morphe m 515 i'm gonna go at the tip of my nose what i like to do is put some blend it out and then get a lot more but then just put a little dot in the center. I don't know if, if that changes anything, but I always do my nose on the side and then I don't necessarily do the entire bridge or I don't want to. I'm gonna actually focus it where we have the most light and that's here. And of course, this is not a makeup look without an inner corner. And now we're super glowy and I'm loving it. For my lips, I am gonna go ahead and outline them a little bit. This is by NK Makeup, this little lip liner. I have a bunch of lip liner that I use from the beauty supply.
And now I'm really about to transform. Now I'm gonna go in with the mascara that I use all the time. It is the Thick and Fast um, by, this is by Soap and Glory. And this is a little more expensive for drugstore. It's like $12, $11.99 at Target. But I really like it because it doesn't flake off. It's very waterproof. I go a little crazy with the wand. Like I'm gonna be getting it on my eyelids, but I'm gonna use the cotton ball and just wipe it off. But I wanna make sure my lashes are really combed out. And that will be all. If you guys want to do a lip gloss, I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Juicy Gloss in the color Apricot. Okay, so one more time with my spray. And we're done.